Hi, this is Simon. I am using Ubuntu Live USB systems a lot and a couple of times I've asked myself why are they missing the NVIDIA graphics driver? To be honest I don't know to this date because I've last time I checked with NVIDIA it said that you are free to take the Linux NVIDIA driver, compile it and distribute it with any kind of Linux distribution you want in binary form so technically nothing would speak against distributing the NVIDIA binary driver with the stock Ubuntu Live system. But for some reason Canonical has decided not to do it so every time I boot the Ubuntu Live system on my NVIDIA equipped machine I don't get dual screen for example which I find very annoying. Of course there is this assistant here, which you probably know, that lets you install the NVIDIA binary driver. However, if you do this on a live USB system, the changes will be lost next time you start your system. So I developed a tool called Melchior, which I would like to show you now. Melchior is an assistant that tracks the changes that are going on in your system and converts them into a SquashFS file which will then be becoming part of the live system next time you boot the, your system. Let's start by going to this capturing changes page and if I now install the binary driver using the tools that Ubuntu provides if I install it now, then Melchior will keep track of these changes and will produce a SquashFS file, which I could call NVIDIA, NVIDIA SquashFS. And this will contain the driver as well as the startup scripts and everything that's needed. Next time I boot my system, NVIDIA will be working right away. I hope you find this useful. Melchior is currently in development. It's not available yet, but I will post a note when it is ready for general consumption. Oh, by the way, one idea I have is to add some commonly used customizations right into this tool. So, for example, install NVIDIA Driver or install Adobe Flash or install Adobe Reader, install Skype, install whatever proprietary software that's more or less commonly used, Google Earth and so on. Uh, I would like to have them included here so that it gets really really easy to get these types of third-party software installed into your running Ubuntu Live USB system. Please leave a comment if you have any additional ideas here and I'm looking forward to releasing Mel here soon.